Hi beautiful crafters, it's Alicia here. Today I am sharing an instructional video on stamping with Kayser Craft Products. This video is designed with the beginner stamper in mind. First of all, let's talk about the products that you will need. Obviously, you're going to need some ink to stamp with, and Kayser Craft ink pads come in a range of different colours. Today I'm using the black ink for stamping. Second of all, you need a stamp to stamp with. Kayser Craft make a variety of clear stamps. They also make background stamps. They make sentiment stamps, which are perfect for adding a sentiment to a card. And they release a stamp set with each collection of papers. Today I'm using the beautiful butterfly from the pen and ink stamp set. You will also need an acrylic block to mount your stamp onto. You can purchase acrylic blocks in a range of sizes. Kayser Craft have a range of acrylic blocks. These ones aren't Kayser Craft products, they're just the ones that I have at home. Choose an acrylic block that suits the size of your stamp. When you start with a brand new stamp, it's a good idea to prepare your stamp for stamping. The first thing you need to do is just remove the stamp carefully from the, the plastic packaging that it's on. Then you apply it to the acrylic block. Using the Kayser Craft sanding block, you can gently sand the stamp, which just gives the image a clearer, sharper look. So you just gently rub over the stamp with the sanding block. The next step is to ink your stamp up. And you want to make sure that you get a good amount of ink on the stamp because if you miss a little bit of the area, it's not going to transfer to the paper. So take your time covering the stamp thoroughly with ink. I like to ink onto some scrap paper first, when, especially when I'm starting a brand new stamp for the very first time. This just gives the stamp a chance to warm up. This stamp happened to ink perfectly the first couple of times, but some stamps just need a couple of goes with the ink just to sort of get them going. And if you do it on a scrap bit first, well then you haven't ruined your whole project. So once you have inked your stamp out a few times on some scrap paper, then you can ink straight onto your chosen paper that you're going to be using or onto your project. So I'm pretending that this little piece of paper is a little card or that I'm making and I'm just stamping it now straight onto that card. I'm just going to go through a couple little tips now for stamping and the first tip is when you are 
stamping, make sure that you push really heavily down on the back of the acrylic block. You need to apply a good amount of pressure to make sure that you have a nice even, even image. If you are using a really big stamp, like the butterfly stamp, it helps to stand up. Don't do it sitting down. If you stand up, then you can put your whole weight into the stamp and that gives you a clearer image. Also make sure that the paper is flat. If you have a little bit of overlap um, underneath your, your surface, that will affect the stamped image as well. The second tip I wanted to talk about was applying new ink every time you stamp an image. In the first two images here on the page, I, I, I covered the stamp with ink before using both times. With the third image, I didn't put any extra ink onto the stamp. I just stamped it again, and you can see how you get a really faded look. So that can be a different technique that you might like. Third tip to clean your stamp, just simply run it under cold water and pat dry with a towel or if you're in the craft room and you don't want to move to the bathroom, just use baby wipe. Another thing you can do with your stamped images is you can colour them. Um, if you have a set of Kayser Craft gel pens, then you can colour your butterfly or whatever image you are stamping with the most beautiful, colourful colours you can imagine. Another option for colouring is that you can use the Kayser Craft colouring in pencils to give a softer look. Um, in this butterfly I just chose I think silver, gold and black to match the colours of the pen and ink paper collection to, to make a pen and ink butterfly card. You can use your stamped images on cards, in layouts, on tags, or in your planner. They can be used anywhere you like. Here's a little card that I made using the Flirt collection, and that features the butterfly stamp at the back of the card. And this is a layout that I made with the butterfly stamp and the flower stamp at the back of the layout. And then finally I popped my little butterflies onto quick little cards and I stamped the grateful sentiment. And they were really quick and easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Or if you have other tips for stamping, please um, pop those in the comments too because that can help me and it can help other people who are watching the video. Please make sure you subscribe to the Kayser Craft channel because we have lots and lots of amazing videos planned for you and we'd love you to see them and that's all for today so thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful crafty day